Hello, heroes of humanity. You know what happens when one drops a pebble in a pond? It makes ripples that extend and extend and extend. A meaningful role model and influencer does that as well. We never really know where that influence ends. In this video, I want to share with you a role model who has changed so many lives on this planet that her ripples are endless. Her name is Elska Maxwell, and for 20 years, she was the head of department at a teacher education institution. During that time, her influence on teachers was profound, and they took and still take that influence with them into their classrooms more than 25 years after Elska has retired. Thousands and thousands of lives have been touched and changed because of one role model who has integrity, generosity and passion. I was privileged to have Elska Maxwell lecture me. And when I say lecture, I really mean mentor, guide, inspire, enrich and empower, just to get started. These are some of the typical characteristics that made Elska a perfect role model for me. And it's a great honor to have been asked to talk about someone who has impacted my life in such a powerful and lasting way, and that being Elska Maxwell. I was taught by Elska Maxwell in 1986. That was 35 years ago. And I learned so many invaluable lessons during her scintillating lectures. More, I learned more than I have time to share here, but those gems of information and inspiration have stayed with me for life. And in turn, I've tried to pass those on to the many others that I've taught in my art classes. Now, Elska has had a significant impact on my training to be an art teacher. Elska was all in, always encouraging us to be more open-ended in our teaching. And she really encouraged us to enable the personal expression and the personal ideas to come through. Elska showed up when she taught. Her life experiences and the lessons that she was learning became inextricably part of every lesson. Elska saw me, and not in that stroke your ego kind of way. She was wise and caring and she engaged with me and the other students as the people we are the people we were beyond the students that we were. Elska gave of herself, she gave of her wisdoms and she gave us the sense that she was always available, available for other people to bounce ideas off, crazy ideas or desperate knowledges, personal or otherwise. Elska Maxwell gave me the courage to face my personal insecurities and discover the kind of person I was capable of being. Elska was a really good influence. Um, she also was one of those people who would keep her, you know, her wisdom. She'd be very quiet, but still be quite stern about what she had to do. And she had great expectations for you, but she always, you always knew that she had your back. And um, she was one of the people that got me to see the world differently. So I was very blessed to have her to guide me along that route. I found in Alska more than just a teacher. She was accessible always to provide a lot of her life wisdoms, both academic and general life. Essential in these days, particularly with COVID, where communities and families are fractured and are not available. Um, it's essential that young teachers maintain that connection with their students way past the hour of the school bell. As students, we all learnt about Carl Rogers and his unconditional positive regard. But with Elska, I really got to experience that firsthand and feel it. She has this way of looking at you <laughs> with, with the smile and seeing straight through the bull and loving you anyway. 
taught me to trust myself and to be more intuitive about what I'm doing. It also taught me um, to see the world differently and to look at things from a different angle. I so related to the way that Elska brought herself to every lecture, her authentic self, flaws and all. She shared her life so honestly. This made every moment an opportunity for growth and to discover more about life and to discover my place in it. She made me feel really safe, that whatever I said or did would not diminish me in her eyes. And that was such a powerful thing. So Elska was in, very important, emphatic about the fact that it wasn't about a recipe lesson, it wasn't about giving a set of instructions, it wasn't about right and wrong, and it wasn't about copying from other examples. It was really about exploring, coming up with your own ideas, trying out the techniques. Elska never left me wondering if I had something to offer, but rather wondering what it was I had to offer. I was left motivated and inspired, not just to teach, but to learn, and most importantly, to learn about myself, so that I could discover my authentic self. And so I too could show up in all my lessons the ones I was teaching and the ones I was learning. I really try and incorporate that into my teaching to this day. I sometimes wonder what my life would look like now had I not been blessed by the life-changing experience of studying art and being taught and inspired by Elska and her team. And I know for sure that my whole life experience would have been the poorer and so would all those learners who've passed through my hands. And that idea of unconditional positive regard has stayed with me my whole life and has influenced the kind of teacher I've become. In fact, indirectly, Elska has touched not only me, but the children that I've taught as well. So a bit like a pebble in a pond, her influence ripples much further than she can ever imagine. And I will never forget her. For 20 years, I worked in schools and I taught 600 children every week. For 21 years, I worked in teacher education, and during that time, thousands of teachers passed through my hands. Elska influenced every single child who ever came into my life and every single teacher education student who crossed my path. So I want to say a huge thank you to Elska for all that you so generously imparted to me, and in so doing, you've also given to many others too. Thank you. Thank you, Elska.